And then lastly, we have Ring Central meetings. So Ring Central meetings is technically your third conference option. Okay, so far we've only talked about three-way conference calling through the Polycom um, dial pad or from the dial pad on the, de on the desktop application. We've talked about the conference bridge, right? That has up to a thousand seats. And the Ring Central meetings uh, actually allows you to set up video conferencing. So that's actually what I'm in right now. I'm sharing my screen. I can share my webcam at the same time if I wanted to. And so can your customers. And you can set up your own Ring Central meetings. Okay. I don't know what the exact limit is when it comes to your participants. You can check with the admins to see what that is. But if you ever need a scenario where you're going to need to share your screen and or your webcam or your customers need to, every single one of you have a license to create your own meetings. Okay. So you can go in here. You can schedule them right from here within the Ring Central app but you can also do it from Outlook itself, okay? So Microsoft Outlook has some integrations built in. Let me see if I can pull that up really quick. So let's head on over to the Outlook so you guys can see how you can book it from Outlook. So this is actually the preferred method that we use here at Ring Central is to book it right from Outlook. So here, I'm gonna go to my Home tab and you can go in the top right-hand corner and click Ring Central and you can schedule a meeting right from here. Okay, if you're on a Mac, if you're on a PC, it'll be further to your left here. You'll see a Ring Central icon that allows you to schedule your meetings. Depending on your platform, Outlook looks a little different between the platforms. Just click on the one that's respective to you. And right from here, I can schedule the meeting. Now, one thing to note, Ring Central meetings still needs to be running in the background and logged in. Okay. If you are not logged in and you click on that button, it'll actually ask you politely to open up Ring Central meetings. Okay. Why is this important? Well, when you have Ring Central meetings running in the background, it pulls the information from our servers using that client, right? And here it's put together a meeting invite for me to send out, and I can set up everything I need right from here. So I can set up who the recipients are. You can see that for every meeting, it generates a brand new link to join the meeting. This number is not a phone number. This is what's known as a uh, meeting ID, right? The randomly one is created every single time you create a meeting. Um, everything that they need to join the meeting is down below. And on the right hand side, I have some settings that I can set for my meeting. Okay, so I can set things like, does my camera turn on as soon as I join a meeting? Does your customer's voice uh, camera turn on right as they join a meeting? Notice that those are off. That would freak most people out, so that is off by default. But other things like audio options, everything is enabled, join before host is enabled, things of that nature. Okay, you'll notice here under the meeting options, there's an option that says force include join URL in the location field. What's that talking about? Well, that um, meeting ID I told you about, um, it's in your email, it's right here, but it also creates a location field in your Outlook invitation as well and puts it here as well. So no matter what, your customers should be able to easily see that link. Okay, and then come day of your actual meeting. So let's say you book this, you put it together, it will show up in your Outlook calendar. So you can see I have plenty of those meetings set up. But to actually initiate the Ring Central meeting, you're actually going to do that through Ring Central meetings itself. So you're going to go to meetings at the very top bottom of the app. This is literally what I do every single morning. I look at my calendar, on my Outlook, and then I proceed to meetings. And then you can see all my meetings for the day. So I had a 9 a.m., I had a 1 a.m., I had a 2 p.m., and today we had a 3 p.m. training. I simply hover my mouse over this, press start, and it'll jump me right into that meeting. Okay? So you basically can schedule it entirely from within Microsoft Outlook, but do make sure Meetings is running in the background. And obviously, come day of your meeting, you have to initiate it from Ring Central Meetings itself. The best part about Ring Central Meetings is your customers do not need to be Ring Central customers. Okay? You can invite Grandma if you want to. She can join perfectly fine. The only person that's required to be a Ring Central customer are the people hosting the meetings. Right? So every single one of you are hosts. You have licenses. You can create your meetings at will. Okay, so you can invite coworkers, but you can also invite anybody that you wish. And that basically covers the three primary ways. Again, um, as far as how many people can join your Ring Central meetings, you guys can check with the admin to see what the limit is on that. But between um, the three-way conferencing that is available through the dial pad on your Ring Central phone, the 1,000 line conference bridge available through the conference option at the bottom of the app, and Ring Central meetings, that should hopefully give you more than enough. Um, toys to play with.